Hello everyone, Happy New Year! I hope 2023 is going to be a happy and productive year for everyone. So, as a 2023 special, uh, we're going to be solving a quartic equation x to the fourth power plus 2023x squared plus 2022x plus 2023 equals zero. But before we start solving this equation, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the properties of this year's number, 2023. All right, so I kind of gathered some properties for you, and I'm also going to try to share the links down below. So to, first of all, 2023 is a deficient number. You know that, uh, that some numbers are deficient, some numbers are abundant, and some are perfect, right? So deficient means that the sum of the proper divisors is going to be less than the number itself. In this case, the sum of the proper divisors of 2023 is 433. I'm also going to show you how it can be factored uh, on, the, on the next page. 2023 is also an equidigital number, which means it uses as much as digits as its factorization. Again, we're going to look at the factorization in a little bit. And it's also an odious number because the sum of its binary digits is odd. So when you go ahead and write this number in binary and add up all the digits, obviously there are going to be ones and zeros. You're going to get an odd number, which means you're going to have an odd number of ones. All right, great. So let's go ahead and proceed a little further and take a look at more details. So 2023 can be factored into 7 times 17 times 17. So it's, in other words, it's divisible by 289, uh, which is a perfect square. In other words, it's also 7 times 289. So its divisors are as follows. Obviously, that comes from the prime factors. There are six divisors. You know, their sum is 2,456, but if you subtract the number itself from it, the rest are going to be the sum of the proper divisors, which makes it a deficient number. In other words, when you find the sum of the divisors of a number, if it's more than twice the original number, then it's going to be abundant. Otherwise, it's going to be deficient, as long as it's not perfect. Okay, the next integer is 2,024. Is that prime? No, as you can see, it's divisible by 7 and 17. The previous prime, the number that comes before this is 2017. That was six years ago. And the next prime is 2027, which is going to be in four years. And 2023 prime, so on and so forth. You'll see a couple properties, and obviously there is much more. And I'm going to try to share all these links with you down below. All right, let's go ahead and proceed with the solution of this problem. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite the equation, x to the fourth plus 2023x squared plus 2022x plus 2023 equals zero. Great. So hopefully you noticed that the coefficient of x squared and the constant term are the same, and they're actually one more than the coefficient of x. Okay, so that kind of gives us an idea how to proceed. We're going to go ahead and break this down. I'm going to borrow one of the x squared. So it's going to be x to the fourth plus x squared. And I'm also going to borrow one of the constants, which is 1. And that leaves us with 2022x squared, because I got one of them right here, plus 2022x, that is unchanged, plus 2022, because again, I borrowed one of the constants. Make sense? Hopefully. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and do the following. We're going to break it down into two pieces and use factoring by grouping. In factoring by grouping, usually what you do is you try to find a common factor for each group, and then that just brings a common factor for the whole thing, which you take out, and so on and so forth. If that looks confusing or sounds confusing, let's go ahead and see what happens. So first of all, x to the fourth plus x squared plus one. What can I do with that, right? I don't really know. So let's go ahead and leave it at that for, the, for now. But now for the rest, I'm going to go ahead and take out a very obvious right common factor, which is 2022 was last year, right? x squared plus x plus one. Now, x squared plus x plus one should give you a clue about how to factor this piece here. And this is kind of like an interesting fourth power, a quartic polynomial that can be factored by adding and subtracting. In other words, in other words, we're going to turn this into 
a difference of two squares. Here's how. We're going to go ahead and add x squared and subtract x squared. Why are we doing this? Because this part becomes x to the fourth plus 2x squared plus 1 is a perfect square minus x squared is another perfect square. So everything is perfect and everything is awesome. So let's go ahead and write this as a perfect square now. x to the fourth plus 2x squared plus 1 can be written as x squared plus 1 quantity squared. And x squared is obviously just x squared. And now this is a difference of two squares. And again, I'm only focusing on this part. I haven't done anything in the second part. Let's go ahead and take care of this. And now we're going to add the other piece. So now this can be factored into two factors, x squared plus 1 minus x, and x squared plus 1 plus x, from difference of two squares again. Let's go ahead and rearrange this a little bit. Let's write it as x squared minus x plus 1. You know, it's always important to write polynomials in standard form. Otherwise, you may lose some points on the test, right? Okay, great. So from highest power to lowest power. Now let's go ahead and add the second piece to it, which is 2022 times x squared plus x plus 1. Great. So this kind of justifies what we did because now we have a common factor. And what is it? x squared plus x plus 1. So we can go ahead and take it out. Let's do it. x squared plus x plus 1. We take out and inside we have this plus this. And it's easy because we were just going to add them and 1 plus 2022 is uh-oh gives us the new year 2023 and we're going to set it equal to zero and it's good because now we have two quadratics very easy to solve by using the quadratic formula yes but the solutions are going to be kind of interesting let's see what happens the first one hopefully you recognize this this kind of comes up uh, with um what is it called difference of two cubes i think right a cube minus b cubed so from here x becomes negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4. That is a negative 3. Uh-oh, that's not good because x is not going to be real. But that's okay. We can handle it. We can write this as negative 1 plus minus the square root of 3i over 2. I know some people like complex numbers and hey, here you go. This is a complex non-real number. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the other one. Maybe this is going to give us real numbers. No way, right? Because you already know that. x equals negative b, this time 1, plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 1, minus 4 times uh, 2023, which is 8,092. Their difference is going to be negative 8,091. Such a nice number, right? Well, maybe. So now we can write this as x equals, hmm, how do you factor 8,091? Well, let's go ahead and take out the negative first. Use i. 1 plus minus square root of 8,091 i over 2. By the way, i is a number whose square equals negative 1. This is not simplified yet because guess what? This is divisible by 9, which is nice because 9 is a perfect square. So 8091 is actually 9 times 899. Kind of hard to believe, right? Well, may maybe you should believe that because this is 9 less than 8100. <laughs> Anyways, um, so 899 can also be factored into 31 times 29. You know how I know that? You can write this as 900 minus 1, which is 30 squared minus 1, and that's 30 plus 1, 30 minus 1. So factoring actually helps a lot with uh, prime factorization. Anyways, so this can be written as 9 times 29 times 31, but this doesn't help because 9 is the only perfect square. So now we're going to take it out as 1 plus minus 3 times the square root of 899i, over 2. So that's going to be the other solution. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care. Happy New Year and bye-bye.